Hey everybody, Kane here and welcome to another video of Art of Conquest. In this one, we are going to talk about Dual Tower. Now, there are quite a few videos that I have made about core suppression and I did give you my range in terms of people being able to achieve similar values and or double or triple the amount. So I've met this particular person in Dual Tower, which has similar values as me, but he likely did not yet invest into other core or as much into, uh, say, Silverwing literature to then skyrocket it even higher. So we're going to inspect this formation, the account in general and stuff like that. So currently... Uh, I did five battles. I'm 4,315. Probably I can raise like 40 points more or so. So that is kind of good. But let's inspect this formation. So uh, let's see currently where this guy is sitting at. So currently this guy is sitting at 4,220. Right. So first things first. Pet level, so he is 17.78 million core power. The difference in our pets, uh, I still have the core power from my previous pet, which was the, the Umbra Fox, and it was level 96 with five stars. So the core power granted was about 4 million or so, somewhere like that. So he is missing about... 2 million plus core power, which would make him jump over, say, 20 million core or be like very, very close to 20 million. So that is one of, say, the core suppression. But at the same time, he might actually be in a very new server and he does not even have any resources to upgrade the pet. Yes, that's also one of the things because this person is actually in one of the newer servers. I probably would not give this account more than three to six months old. Like either he went into all their servers or he just bought an account and just started leveling it from there or buying stuff for it. But essentially, from the first glance, this account is actually pretty new. So aside from that, uh, army, as you can see, the HP values, the attack is not really that high. But the thing about that is my, uh, or rather the HP value is a lot harder to scale than it is the attack value. So for example, my HP is about how much? Uh, 1.5, about 6.5 to 7 million difference, which is what, like what, 30, th from 30 to 40% difference, like 40-ish? which is kind of huge, whereas the attack value is, is about 50%. Now, if you would upgrade Cosmic and all that kind of stuff, uh, the attack value will scale a lot higher. So the thing is, he's missing perhaps some researches here, and he has upgraded Ether Core, Silverwing Literature, as well as Cosmic, higher than I had done, but I have other features, researches, and breakthroughs, which kind of increased this particular value a little bit higher. So yeah, I, I do have more stuff done for the HP value to be higher. Aside from that, the dragon. The other thing that this person is actually in a newer realm, and in some cases like maximum from like three to six months, and that's maximum by the way, is because of draconic. Now he was able to finish this, right? But he has not really upgraded these like barely anything. And another reason is because there is no particular event where you can get a lot of these materials. Yes, you have utility boxes, but newer servers get a lot less utility boxes than the older servers. And I've already tested that. However, there is one event which comes every one, two or three months. I'm not particularly certain. So probably he has not had it yet, or he had it and only played it once or twice. So as you can see, a lot of his stuff is already upgraded, which again kind of says that he has spent money, since usually people don't have a lot of, you know, eggs to actually make a dragon like this work. Even my own dragon, 
doesn't <laughs> doesn't have all abilities level 100 like i'm still missing maybe five to ten dragons I'm, I'm i'm not certain somewhere in that range while all the others are already level 100 some are not even awakened that's how many dragons i don't have so aside from that i have inspected majority of his prisms he has tier 10s all over the place or tier 10 plus with uh buffs with uh dps on say avril i do believe he has all of the prism arrays however as he is on a new server i've seen i think two prisms i think it was fenris which were low level now i'm not particularly certain which hero it was uh i think it was one of these where he had yeah something like this right so this is like level three four or five he's probably leveling one prism at a time or something so essentially that could be why some of his attack value is higher now the other thing is the attack value so his Avril is 220 million attack. Now to show you in comparison is that my Avril is pretty much the exact same attack value, but he has a lot less HP. Now HP usually is where uh, you might, or rather you might be able to get it from breakthroughs uh, or specific breakthroughs, research, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you cannot really reliably increase HP, then you can increase attack. The attack value will always scale a lot higher than that of a HP value. But if you increase the HP value, you increase the tankiness of the heroes by a lot. Prism is buff HP, then HP gets buffed by the healing from Hero Mastery because there is a percent healing which has a ton of tankiness to a, a lot of stuff. Resistances, of course, make your heroes die less. And since you have a lot of HP value, the damage enemy does seem low, as well as like all other shields scale with HP and, and a lot of other stuff, right? So increasing HP overall inc like increases a lot more tankiness. Whereas increases uh, or increasing the attack value, if enemy has a lot of resistances, the attack value can get reduced. But that also depends on a lot of aspects. So aside from that, what I kind of noticed is that his particular Silverwing literature is likely very well upgraded. And what do I mean by very well is that he likely has Silverwing literature at 18 copies, which increases enemies damage taken by 30%. And I have heard good things about it. And potentially 23 in which his values would be raised pretty well. So these are the couple of things that I have noticed. But I'm not particularly certain on the 23. But he 100% has it minimum 18. Aside from that, he likely has invested quite a little bit into the other core. Now, the thing about Ether Core is it grants a ton of freebie attack value stats. Some people are luckier than others. I wasn't particularly very lucky, but I think I'm around the average state of people where you could get, you know, one of the, the, the five stars and stuff like that. And at the same time, get a couple of, say, better stones and still increase some sort of usefulness in the battle. So I'm not really, you know mad or angry i'm actually kind of sort of okay-ish or happy with what i had received so with that information uh this is a new spender a new whale pretty much low core power not say as the values as i have predicted because he has upgraded older stuff as well to buff up his core but if he upgrades his silver ring literature by a few more books he's likely gonna just skyrocket to like 300 million pretty easily and then all the other upgrades will also skyrocket so aside from that he does not have a lot of stats which tells about uh, him not having uh, say stat cards or better equipment i did not need to do a lot of damage to break through he needed to do a lot more 
Uh, in terms of tankiness, apparently his army took more damage, but again, majority of that depends on the resistances. He did not have a, a lot of resistances per se, and thus the burning did a lot more damage. Whereas what he has done, he just one tapped my my front line apparently, and then did not do much damage. And eventually, once the invincibility was out, he killed them. In terms of healing, I needed to do a ton of healing, and he was not able to do much. Now, the other thing which you can say that the account is not that high is because his gladiator's HP is not really that high in comparison to the attack value. So I do believe he has intimidation. He has intimidation tier 11, and that is his values of his Balrog. So our Avril were pretty much similar just that the attack, uh, just that the HP value was like 30 to 40 percent lower. Now, in terms of my Balrog, the attack value is like the same or similar, but the HP value is like 70 percent bigger, 60 percent bigger, somewhere along those lines. So the difference is actually there, uh, rather there in terms of research and some features. So let's jump into the battle. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn to 0 0.5. We're going to unpause the battle and then we are going to retry because that usually removes a tiny bit of lag. Uh, okay, so uh, we got the stall side. He has properly buffed things as I have seen and he also has armory for defense on all of them. I have armory for gladiators with lifesteal. So what he done is he taunted my dragon with his dragon. So six seconds in, I did not do any damage to his front line. He did not do any damage to mine. He just casted Avril. Just casted Avril and his front line is starting to take damage. My front line, not as much damage. So I do believe he's stacking Avril right now. Like he was casting maybe a couple of the ice walls. And I started just blasting his front line right now. So yeah, I think he overstacked. And then he just casted a blizzard or some novas. And the damage became pretty friggin' insane. As you can see, that is what sort of happened. So he was casting uh, ice wall, likely ice wall, then blizzard, then uh, something else. Now, I have almost cleaned his entire stall side. I killed, I think, another skeleton squad somewhere here. Good thing is, he did not have Warlock somewhere here because my dragon would have been popped. But I did manage to kill a lot of his heroes while focusing his stall side. Same as he, actually. He did manage to kill plenty of my heroes because even some heroes were walking into bad places. So he did clear quite a bit of my stall side or no he pretty much cleared entire stall side a stall side that i was so proud of before the uh, literature patch and the other uh, nerfs to uh, i suppose what i said prism arrays some arrays might have been deactivated or hp values uh, reduced from prism arrays or stuff like that because God damn, my stall side was taking zero damage even against 30 millions, but this this guy just one tapped it. So yeah, after that point, my stall side is a mess, right? I've been trying multiple things to make it tanky, but with all of these new features, it's impossible, man. It's literally impossible. So, yeah, that is what is kind of happening. The new features are actually buffing the hero damage by a lot. And if you know how to use Avril and you have invested proper stuff into your Lee, even in the newer servers, you can actually just one tap stuff pretty easily. Like he has everything proper in terms of the Lee, he has everything proper in terms of Avril. Like even his Avril actually has the Blizzard, which would increase the Arcane Eight's range or proccing on more targets or reprocking, which is actually pretty good. In comparison to this, which does not boost Arcane Eight damage. 
So yeah, that's pretty good. So yeah, kudos to this guy. He might likely reach, uh, say, 4,500 before he reaches 20 million core, depending on what he spends on. But yeah, that is kind of where the game is going. All of the new features are kind of not giving that much core power in terms of, say, Silverwing literature, in terms of the other core. However, they're increasing the attack value so much that two uh, DPSs, or rather two DPSs, just literally blast everything to smithereens. And if they blast your sight first, or your burst versus burst, burst sight first, it's over. Even a stall side, like if they bypass your stall side faster, it's over. They're just gonna pincer, they're just gonna one tap majority of the heroes, and it's done. So it's no longer one hero fiesta, now it's actually two hero fiesta, and pretty much anybody can reach that with uh, a little bit of spending. But yeah. Kind of wanted to show that, you know, a little bit of proof to my words of, say, either the core suppression or the newer servers or just spending a little bit of money and actually managing to reach similar places with a lot less features, a lot less core, but essentially being able to do, like, the same thing. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something new. If you did, do hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. As well as if you would wish to support me more than just watching my videos, I have made a Patreon page where you would be able to do just that. In return, I would be able to help you out more individually in terms of events, PvP formations, and stuff like that. As well as I would like to thank all of my patrons for the support. I really, really appreciate it for your subscriptions. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe out there.